in Morristown, New Jersey, hometown of Dan Quinn, with more hey. on how this city shaped him as a coach. Simone, good morning, and we're, we're so <laughs> glad to see you this early in the morning. We never get to see each other, Harlan. Bright and early, I have come to this side, and guys, it is a balmy 30, 32 degrees here in Morristown. It's just a gorgeous morning here. And you know what? We've had a really good time coming here this week, getting to know the town where Dan Quinn grew up. And we're going to introduce you not only to the town of Morristown, New Jersey, but we're going to give you a glimpse into some of the people who are still connected with Dan Quinn to this day. All right. Fresh on the heels of being announced as the commander's new head coach, Dan Quinn sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with our sports anchor, Chick Hernandez. Growing up in Morristown, how has that developed the guy that sits here in front of me now? I'd say the people that poured into me as a young athlete coming up, those are the people that inspired me to want to coach. Mm -hmm. Before I went to college, like, I had a clear vision of what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a coach. We traveled to Quinn's hometown, to Morristown High School, where it all started. I'm standing on the very football field where Dan Quinn put in the work. This is where Dan Quinn honed those leadership skills that he's praised for today. He's dedicated and driven. You know, he really does want to make sure that he makes the community proud. Come along as we introduce you to Casey Flynn, the current head football coach for Morristown High School. I think it fosters a sense of pride, um, knowing that someone came from Morristown um, and is doing big things at um, a, a high level, an extremely high level. We'll take a look at the place that built Dan Quinn and how he's remained connected to it years later. Guys, I gotta tell you, it is really cool to get to see something like the football field where Dan Quinn used to play, you know, as a, a high school athlete and where he really honed some of those leadership skills that we're now seeing on a national stage and we're hoping that the commanders can really capitalize on as well. So you're gonna wanna join me at 630 because we're gonna take you through the same high school halls that Dan Quinn walked through, that he grew through and that he's still connected to to this day. And little teaser, we did frequent one of his favorite pizza restaurants and uh, it's incredible. So we'll give you a little a sneak peek of all of that at 6 30. Well that that's something I'm looking forward exactly. to. <laughs> exactly. You said you had us when you said pizza. Yeah. And Dan Quinn. So yes. Simone. I got you guys. Right. Good stuff, Simone. Thank, Thank you. We'll see you in about an hour. Uh, 